I'm a big fan of characters. Uh, Elizabeth and I were talking about this. She's like, oh, my my plots are, my books are very plot driven. So, but for me, when I'm writing, um, all of my character, all of my books are very character centric. Like I, I choose a very distinct character and I walk that character and it's usually a woman, walk that character through an entire character arc for an entire series, right? I had an idea. I've got a whole character sheet that I'm going to show you. I'm also going to link to it because it's on my website. So it'd be very easy for you to uh, copy and paste it because these are the kinds of things that I like to see from a character when I'm developing them. And since I'm a pantser, sometimes I only know a very little bit about my character before I get started with a book. And in a way that can be kind of hampering. So I'm here in GPT. Four. I chose four. So um, I'm going to paste this whole thing in. And it starts with, hello, today I need for you to be my writing assistant and help me build uh, a character profile for a fiction book I'm working on. I need you to create a detailed outline for the fictional character, filling in all the details requested in the character sheet below. Please do not add extra blank lines. One of the cool things you can do is you can get it started. What I do usually for a type of character, this is where I put like an occupation. But today we're going to do a, what is it? Spaceship insurance adjuster. Okay. And you can start it off, like if you know some things about your character already. Um, maybe it's a woman um, and she this is her like third job she's had. So you already know some things about her, but um, so you can fill some of those things in. Like if you already know the name, if you already know the age, the gender, et cetera, you can fill those in. And there's lots of stuff on this list that you can fill in and you can give it your own stuff too. This is just a starting point. So we've got the spaceship insurance adjuster and I've chosen the age of 35. So let's see what it gives us. Quentin, Q, Novak. One of the things you can do um, is you can run this for like every single character in your book and you can create like a big Bible full of stuff about your characters. And then um, at some point you can actually take a bunch of your characters and take the um, the most major points about their personality, things that like resonate with you as the author that you're probably going to fold into the narrative somehow. And you can put them all into one big prompt and ask Chad GPT, like, what will their, um, what will their interactions be like between these people? You know, tell me, you know, how they will clash or the things that they're going to really like about each other. And you can have it riff off of that too. And if you don't like what it gives you, you can obviously go back and like uh, try again. You could also fill in more stuff. You could copy and paste this into a text document, change the stuff that you don't really like, delete stuff that that um, you still want better answers on, and you can bring it back into ChatGPT and have it run again. So um, some of the fun things that I like about this questionnaire, the likes like galactic politics, vintage space maps, electro electronic jazz, and Martian food, <laughs> dislikes liars, tardiness, unventilated spaceships, and black hole theory debates. Uh, specific mannerisms are, are really fun. Taps fingers rhythmically when in deep, deep in doubt. Um, I, I really like the, um, the childhood events that shaped their life because these are things that you could flash back to. Um, you could refer to them in the prose. Um, maybe a character character's um, friend or family member from their past comes back and reminds them of these things, it can really lead to a much deeper character. Quotes or sayings they're known for in space, nobody can hear you file an insurance claim. <laughs> like the, if you're really into Enneagram, this is totally where you can, you could swap out my astrology stuff for Enneagram stuff. It also uh, knows Clifton Strengths as well. If you ask for does. characters Clifton Strengths, you could add that to the prompt if you wanted to do that. Now that we have all of this information about this character, we can start to interview and ask more about them. Okay, so let's start with, this is great. I love it. Can you tell me more about um, Quentin's uh, coworkers? 
So let's say you only know about your your first character in your book and you haven't really thought much about the people around this person. You can ask about uh, their family, their coworkers, people they see on the street all the time. Here's a few people, Sasha Ace Rowan, Ezra Whitlock, Dr. Callista Vega, that's interesting. And then uh, let's ask some, let's ask some more personal questions instead of stuff about around them, right? So what does Quentin like to do before bed? Okay, so every bed, be every night before bed, Quentin follows a particular routine that combines his passion for knowledge and his need for relaxation. He starts by spending an hour catching up on the latest galactic news on his hollow screen. This helps him stay informed about the latest developments in the universe and be aware of any incidents that might lead to insurance claims after he's updated on the news. This guy's very passionate about insurance. And finally, Quentin ends his pre-bed routine by spending time with his pet robot dog, Boomer. He either plays with Boomer or performs maintenance checks. Right. So these are some great ideas, like getting getting the ball rolling on your story. What does he do before bed? What does he eat in the morning? Does he bring his lunch every day? These are things that can add like little bits of spice to your story that are about him or your characters, any one of these things. Please be Quentin. Sorry. Quentin. We're going to have a conversation. And you will be the role of Quentin. What are his um, thoughts on the most recent election on Saturn? What are your <laughs> thoughts? What <laughs> on says he likes galactic politics? Right. So. Recent election on Saturn. But we're also going to do this over in Playground because uh, one of the cool things about Playground is that it will it'll hold in the system your your character profile you can copy it over there and then you can do this for a really long time because it can refer back to that whenever you need to um b morgan here is a character profile sheet of what morgan is like copy it in. Now that we have that over there and it's in the system, we don't have to worry about losing it in the context of our, our conversation now, right? So now that we're here over on the right side and we choose user, right? We can say, how that you're Morgan. Hi, Morgan. It's great to meet you. Can you tell me a little bit about what you like to do on your days off? And at this point, you're just going to start interviewing your character, right? And it'll be like a discussion going back and forth. You can think about the things that you would talk about with somebody if you're sitting down and having a thank you for joining us on something wickedly cool in ai um this is what we do in our lab sessions so the future fiction academy is eight labs a week you can come live you can watch the replays after you get the transcript you also get the lab report so the five of us are the main instructors for future fiction academy and we work together to specialize in different parts of AI tools to come up with really innovative prompting and how to use these tools in our everyday publishing careers. So if you would like to join the Future Fiction Academy, we would love to have you because uh, it's a community that is AI positive and we're all working together to stay on top of this new technology before we all get left behind. So by sticking together, we, you know, for example, I kind of specialize in open AI and prompt engineering. Um, who here specializes in series writing, novellas and novels? Yep, and yep. And then who specializes in mid journey and all of the artistic stuff? And <laughs> yep. so basically between the instructors, we all have overlapping skills and we invite you, it has a three day free trial. We invite you to come join us and have fun because we love to play with this stuff um, and we love to share, share it. So hope to see you in lab soon. Bye. Uh, uh, take two. <laughs> Okay, so...
can't even do it. Stop laughing now. Stay serious. Stay serious.